Hello everyone. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss the second approach of using the retrial listener that is from the testng XML file. So first of all, let me create a testng XML. So I'm just going to copy the existing testng XML and rename it to testng retry XML. So I will remove some unnecessary piece of code from this XML and we will specify our test class which is test retry listener and it is also present inside the com.test case package. So as we know that if you want to use a listener we need to use the listener tag inside the test ng XML and specify the listener name along with the package. So com.listener and the listener name. I'm going to run this testng XML. So run as testng suite. So if you observe the console, it clearly says that if you want to use a listener inside the testng XML, it should be either I test listener, I suite listener, I reporter, I annotation transform, I method intercept, or I invoke method listener. That means you cannot use I retry analyzer listener directly inside the test ng XML. So here we need to use a workaround. That means during the runtime, we need to associate our retry listener with the test method. And in order to do that, we are going to use the I annotation transform listener. So again inside the com.listener I will create one more listener called retry and this will implement I annotation transform listener. So we need to override the method which is this one. So as we know that as soon as a test method will invoke before that this particular method will get invoked automatically. So here first of all I will check whether a retry listener is associated with the test method or not. So using the annotation which is of type I test annotation and we are using this cause we are specifying the retry analyzer in, along with the at the rate test annotation. So here I will use annotation dot get retry analyzer which is going to return as the type of I retry analyzer and here I'm going to put a check if retry is null then associate our custom retry listener with the method. So set retry analyzer and here I will specify the custom retry listener dot class. Okay. Now instead of custom retry listener, we need to specify the retry that is the listener which we created using the I annotation transform interface. So we need to specify this listener inside the test ng XML. So this will be retry. So during the runtime first it will check whether is there any retry listener associated with the method or not. If it is not it is going to associate our custom retry listener with that method. So now we have updated our testng XML and just do a right click run as testng suite. So now as you can see here it is using the custom retry listener which we created. So 
so let me bring down the tomcat service again and let me modify this code also instead of using the get method i will use the get name and rerun this XML. So as you can see here after the third attempt the method got passed and that is because we restarted our tomcat and it is able to stabilize the connection so in this manner you can use the retry listener along with the test ng xml file